If you're trying to play a, a curve shot across, um, you know, a large amount of the table length, you still want a lot of kind of forward momentum on that ball, but you need to effectively curve it to one direction. So what you might do is put a, a slight backspin on it and a side spin, depending on what direction you want it to go. You have two types of friction. You have a static friction and a kinetic friction. Now the static friction is basically what's holding the balls on the table right now when they're not moving. Now if you start to actually put a spin on a ball, you have a slipping of the surfaces. That slipping is what we refer to as a kinetic friction. And when we hit a ball with a spin, the direction of that friction is what denotes what direction it's going to go. So it's going to be in the opposite direction of that friction. And as the ball um, moves forward very fast, it's going to move forward almost linear to start with. And then as the ball slows down, the spin is actually going to take it on a curved path.